up? Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the weekly rollout. This week we got a special guest. This is my friend Kristen. Uh, Kristen is about to do 150 deadlifts in the workout, so I decided it would be a good idea for her to mobilize her back, uh, so it's nice and uh, ready to go, uh, get in position. And I thought it would be a great idea to share this little warm up with all of you. So first thing Kristen is going to do is foam roll her back. Um, she's going to cross her arms over her body, give herself a hug, and she's just going to roll up and down her back. And it might crack, it might pop, but we're going to do this for one minute. Um, and Kristen is going to feel uh, wonderful after she's done. You've had back surgery, right? Yes. What do you have? Uh, Microdisectomy at L5S1. So that means they punk puncture some holes in Kristen's back to try and make it feel better. That's a nice way of saying it. Yes. Are they fused? No. Does your back hurt all the time? No. No? No. Does it hurt today? A little bit. A little bit? A little so are you excited about doing 150 <laughs> yeah. deadlifts? Super excited about that. <laughs> Good. Uh, so the point of doing this is just to get all the muscles in Kristen's low back warmed up. Um, so when we do a couple stretching exercises, she actually gets a benefit from it. Foam rolling is uh, like a, a super temporary uh, muscle release, as people say, that just allows you to get some more mobility. She's going to do this for 10 more seconds. Now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is going to be some banded cat cows. All right, good job, Kristen. You can quit that. So the banded cat cow is a way of forcing Kristen's tight, stiff, surgically fixed low back uh, to start moving. And the band is just going to go in her low back, and then she's going to go from um, this position, the cow, into that position, the cat. And we put the band on the low back just to emphasize um, that. Kristen, give me 10 of those. You can see she's real stiff through there, but as she keeps doing it, it'll start pushing it open. And um, it's really nice after the foam roller because the foam roller kind of softened all that stuff up so all the meat can work right now. Are you counting? Yes. Okay, good, because I'm not. I always count. You do? I do. Is your counts accurate? You're sometimes... My counts are, some, my counts are often off. Uh, if I don't use my hands, they're off. Yeah. You think yours are accurate? No, I think mine are accurate. Oh, we're going to play a game today. We're going to okay. see who can count to 150 better. <laughs> uh, all right. Was that 10? Yeah. I like it was 10. Cool. It's actually more than 10. Last thing we're going to do is something called a Jefferson curl. Kristen is going to stand up on these blocks hold a kettlebell and then just slowly go through and round each segment of her spine and then go as low as she can and hopefully she'll catch a little hamstring stretch at the end here and then come back up nice and slow. Most people think this is terrible for you. It wouldn't be a great idea to do this really fast, um, but it, it does have a huge benefit in uh, the mobility. So Kristen, uh, Kristen also has tight hamstrings, so this should be super, super fun. I have tight everything. Tight everything. You know why that is? Because you're so athletic, Kristen. Right. <laughs> And that means that you can be super fast and super strong. Just not super yeah. fast. Okay, we're going to do four more of these. Uh, if you guys are doing this at home, this is, again, a great way to get ready to start doing some, like, hinge-based movements um, and flexion-based movements in your spine. Thanks for joining us. Stop back next time. Kristen will tell you fun stories about uh, emptying storage units. <laughs>